All right, this is horrendous. This is horrendous. And this must end, all right? The police must do their job here. I'm not going to, nothing's going to happen to me. And I'm not going to be silent. So you can normalize this kind of brutality and barbarism. All right? So somewhere, a, a normal cop needs to do their job. All right? Until then, I'm going to Instagram or whatever this is every time I step out of my door. Okay. We're stepping out. And I don't just step out until I get my green lights, but I already did that before I started rolling the film. Notice the water. All right. The other day it was just on for like, I don't know. My God. <sighs> nice and quiet now, the classical music is off. <sighs> oh my God, dude. Classical music used to be played before I was aware of that. By the second week I lived here, in theory, he had decided to take the bait. He's already been involved in allegation with the mob for years. Everybody here. Okay, we know that. Well, we have to prove it beyond reasonable doubt. But we know that about the... Is she Jewish mob? This lady upstairs. Okay, but I didn't... I, I, was, I wasn't supposed to be aware of Russ and all that. I was just supposed to keep doing what I do up here. My job, you know? I became aware of Russ. We are now, right? Right. But anyway, so in allegation, he was involved with organized crime for a long fucking time before I came here. And by the second week I lived here, he was all for it. Which explains the stuff I saw the first Thanksgiving I lived here. I've seen tons of shit, dude, I'm here, hello? Um, he was like totally down with getting paid to whack me. And she's going against the mob, man. We'll take care of her. We know. That's what they're all about in America. They're really in love with that. It's really fucking frightening what happened to the American human in 2021. We're playing with the music now? Let's listen. Yeah. As soon as I come out and start talking, the music goes back on. Like, this is really sad. Then they got themselves fucking caught up in counterterrorism so over their fucking heads, dude. They learned all this shit. None of this kind of crap even was going on until October. When I, yeah, started claiming there was dead bodies and women screaming and all this shit I've heard. Yeah. So Washington, D.C. wants to keep pretending that it's not happening and this will make it stop. Like the allegations, right? If we pretend, then the allegations will stop too. And we can just put her down the toilet at some point. No and no. So if that's no and no, you need to come up with another course of action. But they're unable to fucking do that. They just keep doing the same fucking thing, people. Okay, so here we are. Let's check our little area here and make sure we're somewhat... I mean, this is a house of horrors. This seems all right. Yeah, TV and music, everything. So oh, They love to play games. They're fucking pitiful. My cats are secure. I'm very fucking tired of this, yes. All right. Nobody should be doing the dishes in the bathroom anyways. I started doing that to be safe in here. Oh, it's this way. Okay. All right, so I'm good. My green light is I'm all right. Go for this. It's just a little overwhelming, but I can get it done. This is fucking bullshit. Yeah, DC. Uh, let's just pretend, right? This pretend thing, then it will become normal. This kind of barbarianism. Because well, we're, we're, we're the rich white Americans. We're taking over the planet with the Middle Eastern terrorist. So whatever we think and want is normal, we can just make it normal. We'll redefine the definition of normal. Whatever we fucking want it to be. Because in America, whatever we think, we are given in a bill of rights, some sort of doctrine the the notion that this is reality so whatever i think it's my right and it's my right to think this is fucking reality 
So then they, yeah, here, let's just finish it off. Then they say, uh, Jesus is this and that. Jesus told me to do this and that. I mean, they take it to the extreme here. Am I clear yet? Yeah, I think I am. All right. So glad to do the dishes. Yeah, let's keep going. Is it hookers for Jesus here? You know it is, dude. It's whatever you fucking think you want it to be. Because you got the right. And once you give someone this God-given right, they even, they even put the, the paraphrase of God in front of it. You're really fucking telling the human, man. You're telling the human, this is cool, dude. God told you to. I don't know where that cut off. But I was saying, they're incapable of love. They're incapable of knowing anything respects human value of life or any of that. This, the value system is based off monetary and money and material assets. That's the value system. And um, when you have that kind of human, they're not capable of love, so they only value sex and orgasm, which is what I was talking about. And if you tell them they have the right to do whatever they want, then, then they can, can too. They can have sex with whatever, whoever they like. And there's not going to be no laws placed to prevent them. A lot of this here that's driving the terrorists in the United States is hedonism. And the Middle Eastern devils knew that. Get the Western people loaded on hedonist everything. This is the whole galore of it. Okay, and we can get them to do whatever we like and believe whatever we really want them to because we're giving them everything that they want, which is material and physical uh, pleasures. And don't forget, in America, that's what it's about. It's in your Bill of Rights. It's about you pursuing yourself. Yep, you read it. You know that's what I'm talking about. No one can argue any different. No adults are going to argue reality anymore. People are kind of tired of that. America and the West gave way to some incredible art. And so these uh, ways of philosophical, rhetorical, uh, whatever the word, are great. They're really great. The Enlightenment era and all that. But they're not a way to found any fucking government and social contract, all that shit. No, dude. You tell the human these things, the human condition is going to get really, really, really sick. They're not going to want to do anything but serve themselves, which if that's their Bill of Rights to do that, well then, what's wrong? There's nothing wrong, you see? There's nothing wrong with that. And the whole thing with the country being founded off white power, you know, is this any of the surprising that this is happening now? No, dude. It's not, okay? It's capitalism and liberalism gone completely crazy and is based and premised off white whatever white power and all these other think tanks around the world saw that coming okay i'm not some genius they saw that coming dude it's been happening since the 80s really bad this has been falling apart And then in the 90s, right there, bam, the 90s, when Al-Qaeda got their fucking guy, Bill Clinton, they got one, but I mean, it's been here, KKK, what, it's everything I just said, okay? The 1950s, oh, sent them all to hell, dude. That's when the country lost their way, forever. It wasn't coming back, we're on our way to Armageddon. 
I literally sat there and watched this the whole time. Thrilled. Thrilled as clams. They wanted the, the West. They wanted this all for a long time. Take this batch in there. Is this still up? Yeah. I'm taking the garbage out too. I'm not going in that kitchen. You think I'm insane? No. The fuck no. They're in their room still playing with their sound. The TV's in their classical music. It's just a joke, dude. I ain't going around these people for a million fucking dollars. Or going in no kitchen around none of them. I don't want the food in my freezer. I don't want none of it. There's, um... There's, um... A few bags of frozen food. And, like, some chicken and hamburger. I want it, but I ain't gonna risk myself danger, man. These people are fucking heathens, and I've witnessed enough here. And I, unfortunately, I have an associate's in criminal justice, which is enough to get you a job in the police department. And I know a thing or two. What's going on here is not legal. It's highly suspicious. It's criminal activity, and the cops protect. I don't know where this cut out, but I was saying that um, I have a degree in criminal justice. And um, I don't remember, I don't know where it cut out, so forget about it. But I know enough to know that this is highly suspicious criminal activity ever since I moved here. Some more obvious than others. It got real obvious in October. And my job here on out is to send the evidence I collect to prosecutors and to counterterrorism agents counterterrorism agents and that's international it's not just the United States the United States can't be trusted anymore no which is why I lecture a lot about the Al Qaeda got in here in 1992 and it was toast you can't trust any Americans after 1992 hell no no they'll kill you they'll kill your mom they'll kill your grandma they'll kill fucking anybody for the Middle East terrorists that's what happened since 1992. In a nutshell, yeah. Because the Middle East terrorists told them, you know what? You want it to be a white power country? Do what we say. We'll give you that. You give us this or this in exchange. You have your white power. And so everybody took that bait. And they've been really, really fighting for that. And it was very dangerous here in my country. But nobody, nobody really realized it. <clears throat> they didn't realize it until they were really close to attacking the United States. In 2015, like 2016, there started to be all these series of unexplained accidents. Unexplained accidents by officials. Officials were just mysteriously, I don't want to get into it, it's just kind of sad. And all the agents know this, so I don't need to repeat it. It's a, a drab and depressing topic. But that shit's not happening anymore. They're not harming nice people anymore, no. But that's when it started to get kind of really dangerous, worse than before. Now we have um, typical warfare stuff. It's operating more like a proxy war. They won't announce it, but it's just typical warfare stuff. And I guess they won't be able to cover it up when, when actual WMDs, like nukes, carpet bombs, things like that. I don't think they're gonna be able to lie about. They'll have to fess something up, have to say some kind of relevant truth to it. We'll see, right? They're gonna be taken out of power. All the Al Qaeda media and stuff will be taken out of power, so they won't have that privilege anymore to continue to sit and type malicious lies. 
while whacked out on crystal meth. I mean, what a job, man. I know. All right. So, okay, I got a few more things to wash here. And this one upstairs, it should be a politician. I mean, you know, maybe she believes there's a future in politics. So you can't blame her for being told that and taking the gullible bait. Chicken teriyaki. I mean, I'm serious. I'm not going in the kitchen. No, I will later. But right now, they're on the hunt, man. Every day, they're on the hunt. That makes sense with the insurrection. That was big, big uh, green light this morning. Since I opened my eyes when I was still in bed, and that's what it is. They have another planned insurrection. It won't happen. No, it won't happen. But these fucks back it up with how they're hunting. So it'll show out when they realize they don't have an overthrow again. But they need to be arrested, and that's why I'm not going to stop harassing the cops, basically, is what I've had to do here to do their job. I have to harass the cops. The cops will be arrested, too. But there are some good cops, and I'll harass them, and finally, I think one or two might take an initiative to do their job, which is really insulting because I have the same degree. I have the same fucking degree. But they, they want to pretend I don't have that either. I don't have a, I don't have anything. I'm not even talking on Instagram right now. I'm not even doing that, folks. You're not even really here either. None of us are. Okay? Okay. None of us are, man. The only thing that's here is Trump and Biden. We're doing and believe everything they say. Why? Because he's your president. And Biden likes sweets. And it was hard for him to give up sweets for Lynn. Because he prays every night to Jesus. Yep. All right, dude. Keep praying, Biden. Those are clean good. Okay, God darn. I'm so glad I'm done with this in here. I hate coming in here. Man. I make it, I get my green lights before I even fucking step out of the room. Okay, folks, we're going back in here and we're going to take our garbage out. Why not Instagram like that? You can see all the little apartheid out there again, pointing at shit and laughing. I know. All right, let me check on my little sons. There's my children. I love my babies. Okay, so um, let me go ahead, get the dishes situated here. It's my little bleach bowl, I'll get to that. Um, yeah, so that's the story, man. We'll keep harassing them. Eventually, they'll have to either A, do their job, have to by force, or they'll feel some sort of normal human instinct to do that because of a normal human reaction to barbarianism. Normal humans don't like that kind of stuff. They don't like Dark Ages barbaric actions. They didn't then. But um, we've gone way backwards. I know that. I know. And then that's, they do that too. They say, well, we're, we're the Biden administration. We're listening to the science. And I'm fucking down the street. Nobody's hearing or listening to you anymore, bros. You're listening to the science, huh? Okay. We're all about the science. No, Russia's about the fucking science, dude. And it's just going to be me and Russia, and we're going to take it all down. All right? What? You know? <sighs> Russia's actually, they got really um, good people there. I just wasn't aware of it. I wasn't supposed to be. 
They don't like this barbaric uh, Russian organized crime shit. Flushing women down toilets and shit. They're not fucking into this. The men over there do not beat their wives. They're, they're tired of this kind of crap coming out of our Western news about how they're fucking the devils of the planet. All right, it's the same as China. I totally like China, but after the Iran agreement or whatever that they've done, I just kind of have to pray about how I can uh, navigate China because I just, anybody who does agreements with Iran, who is going to nuke my country, I just, I can't just say, oh, but no, I, I absolutely love China. And my um, angel, uh, I call him family, so let's just get over all the words. Definitely said China goes to star first. So my angel family knows a lot more than I do. Well, of course they do. And China does go to star first. And this is very possible, people. At some point, you guys are going to leave uh, Earth here and go somewhere outside your solar system. But right now, with your despot leaders in charge who are declaring that they're all about science, right now they'll never let that happen. No. And this planet... With, according to these despot leaders, they'll just go there and try to make it all white too. They fight the, the angels and the aliens and make their planet white, man. Like, yes, you don't understand how sick you are here, right? Am I opening your minds a little bit? No, this shit's no longer going to continue here, okay? There, that's there to dry. All right, good. I'm just going to take my garbage out here while Instagram live that. I'm going to do my myriad of lists that I have to do. I get overwhelmed. I think the terrorists here are at bay. Um, you're never safe around people who flush and cut up and chop up hookers and jump them in every room of the fucking row house who have police protecting them in order to do that. No, you're not fucking safe. Fuck no. But I'm going to take my garbage out. I'm going to be all right. I have that cute dress that I ordered coming today. I have not been able to buy any clothes for um, almost over three years. I've been alone, unable to really leave this room. It's all been documented. There's no questions why that is. And um, I gained weight. And I've been scared. I just can't keep not going back to how grateful I am to Russia. Russia's all about the science, dude. They're not going to play around with all those locations coming on my account. They're not going to play around with this weird, funny dreams I'm having about all this military shit. They're on top of it. They're like, go get her. Go talk to her. We want her for ours. Go protect her. That's what they did. All right? I owe Russia fucking everything. The day you slay Putin... I will be so happy for you. I will be crying my eyes out. I will do everything to help you remove that despot out of power. Okay, with that lovely speech I made, I'm going to sit down and stay calm. All right, I'm going to turn my fan on. I'm going to breathe. I know I'm safe in my room. And I'm going to figure out when I'm leaving to take my garbage out. And I'm going to try to not get too upset when I'm out there around a whole bunch of arrogant, ignorant, Science-based, in quotes, science-based white Americans in Washington, D.C., who are actually too caught up right now in normalizing the killing of prostitutes, dismemberment of their bodies, and flushing and cleaning the crime scene through the toilet systems. That's what they're really about here. Whether they tell you they're science-fucking-based. All right, I'm going to try to not lose my cool around them when I take my garbage out again today. All right? Okay. Look, it's easily remedied. Remedied. Why don't you bring the police here and fucking investigate? All right. God bless America. Say goodbye. I will come back when I take my garbage out.